I wouldn't want to change anything either, so I'm also happy. Great. <laughs>yeah, the same. We, we go out for some cycle rides, which takes a few hours. Um, train. Uh, um, we are busy with our little one, like Susie said. And the weather was pretty good in Europe, unusually good. So even jumping in the pool and, uh, and having some good time with the family. Well, actually, I've gone the opposite way because I put on my phone an app which stopped me looking at social media and trashy websites too much because I wanted to really use the time I had in a productive way. I haven't looked at any apps. I mean, just to add in, Toto doesn't actually know how to buy an app. So if you would even know there was an app that he wanted, he would have to give me the phone and I would have to go to the app store, right? Right. <laughs> I've downloaded some you downloaded some stuff for me, um, books. I've read the first few pages. Um, but generally it was more being in the moment. Very similar, none of them listens. They're all stubborn. Probably our son more stubborn than the drivers. From my perspective, Jack is definitely harder work because at three years old, everything is why, but why? <laughs> And my drivers, you know, I choose when I get in touch with them so I can judge how much conversation is happening. Whereas with Jack, it's constant conversation every day. We're trying to annoy him back with why now. So we're starting <laughs> to say, why? Why? Why do you want it? Why? And he's trying to figure out what happens, actually. It's funny to watch. There is no such thing as leadership style. There is, it's all about being authentic, who you are. And uh, that's what we do. I think we know about our strengths and weaknesses. We're trying to focus on the strengths. I've certainly got big inspiration from watching Toto and the huge success he's had. But he's absolutely right. I, I couldn't even describe to you what my leadership style is because I'm simply doing what I believe is always in the best interest of the team. I'm very competitive, so we want to have performance. We want to win. My favorite racetrack is more because of the memories that are associated, it's Hockenheim. That's where I really first met Toto many, many years ago. It's where I had one of my best results in DTM. It's where I drove the Williams Formula One car. So great memories um, from Hockenheim. I don't care. They're all the same. It's about scoring a good result. But there's some races we enjoy to visit together. You know, we love Japan. Yeah. We, we love, don't like the jet lag, but we love Japan. We love Japan, yeah. Um, Singapore race is great. Yeah, because it's different. Yeah. We like to be in Monza for the for the yeah. nice food and the nice hotel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she was when Susie was heavily pregnant. We were in this one place. You need to be in Monza in the old hotel there. And uh, I wasn't were, even heavily pregnant at the time, but I had such bad morning sickness, and she, I spent, she was sick the whole day. I didn't even make it to the track. I couldn't leave. The whole so time. we have great memories. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are both <laughs> at risk because we are um, lost in our thoughts and uh, driving has been something that we have been doing all our life and, and Susie is more clever, so she puts in the speed limiter and uh, doesn't need to concentrate anymore. Uh, but I had to do that after getting so many fines, it was really getting to the stage where I had to change my strategy. There was one instance where I got pulled over and it was completely normal and I gave obviously my driving license over and, and the officer looked at it twice and said, ah, okay, you're used to going pretty fast, right? I said, yeah, but that doesn't give me any excuse. Um, but no, I think in the end, we have no excuse because I can drive fast on a racetrack and get all my you know, adrenaline kicks from driving on track. There's no need to do it on the roads and it's actually dangerous 
drive too quickly on the road. So I'm getting better with age, I have to say, I think. The driving in general or the speed? No, the speed. The driving in general, I know you don't think is very good on the roads, but that's your perspective. Toto is a terrible passenger. <laughs> we have realized that our relationship is really intact. It's more than just intact. Well, intact is a pretty strong word. Isn't it? <laughs> intact is like great. <laughs> From an Austrian. <laughs> Six days we have not been together since um, the 19th of December. And um, some days she's annoying, but, but overall it has been pretty robust. Toad is never annoying. I'm just incredibly lucky to have such a wonderful husband. That is very kind of you. <laughs> We would like to say a big, big thank you to all the people who are making it possible for us to get through this very challenging time. Not just to those on the front line that are taking care of all those that are ill or fighting for their health, but to all the unsung heroes who we probably don't know, don't see, but you know who you are. So to all of you, big thank you from Total and myself. <laughs>